in today's video we're hanging out with my boy vince in his storage unit turn collection room you're gonna see some rare sealed vintage toys as well as other cool collectibles you don't normally see so grab a drink grab a snack and enjoy Remember this? Oh my! Remember this? Yeah, Lee's and there's Lee's and Tomar. Back when I was in elementary, dog, this is how I used to um, get my vintage toys. I used to, in the back of the in the back of the magazine, there's ads of people's toy shops. Uh -huh. and I would I would, well, I would my my first toy line I ever bought was Star Wars stuff, dog. Yeah, uh, back Brian, in Brian's elementary. Brian's toys. Remember Brian's toys? Brian's. They, they used to advertise on those magazines all the time. Nah, I don't, I don't remember the names. We got a Sucker Man vintage summer Sucker Man in the box. Bunch of merch, bro. These are from the Tops cards. It's crazy. A little. Oh, these are the cards. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of crazy stuff up in here. Jabba the Hutt eraser. Got a folder. More erasers. Cool. Those uh, Max Rebo. That one's awesome. So, this has a big, huge Star Wars collection. Happened overnight. Look at that. Poncho. You want some underwear? You want some, you want some vintage underwear? Uh, <laughs> He said he's probably gonna rip. <laughs> I sold the Ewok one already. Did right you? Away. Yeah. You like Star Trek stuff or nah? Nah, not really. Well, that's a Return of the Jedi suitcase, mini suitcase. Here's the overview of the Star Wars section here. What are you looking at? Are you looking at the G.I. Joe? Place it over here. The tactical battle platform. It's awesome, huh? Okay. <laughs> Sealed Empire Strikes Back Atari game. Man, that's crazy. As well as a B Wing Fighter. Is that sealed? Yes, sir. Man, sealed B Wing Fighter. That's sealed. We got the Kim Griffey Jr. <laughs> rookie card there. Laser disc. Laser disc. Laser disc. Stamp collects when you post the kit. That's sealed. Same. Just come on, a bunch of Star Wars stuff. Let's check. Let's get a closer look at this shelf. Where's the van? Yeah, I had no idea they made so much. George Lucas, you heard that story? Yeah, I did. Well, he wanted, um, he got the rights to my bad. Yeah, because uh, hey, we got Vince showing off the little playset of the you know, Universal Remco Monsters. Universal Monsters. Look how clean those guys look. Still got the original rubber bands on the, on wow. the table with Frankenstein. That's awesome. Got this from the homie down That's in Seattle. Carrying case and a little place in all of them in one. He's got the little card backs and everything. Wow. And then if you look, I got them on card right there too. <laughs> yeah. So you got them loose here with the card backs and then on card over here. It's a creature. It's a clean. Awesome. That's dope. Dope. What'd you say these are called again? That's Red Shadows. Red Shadows. Toy line in the UK. Some custom black majors in there, but the majority of them in there are vintage. There's just stuff you don't really see. And uh, my, uh, my little skeleton shelf is looking skimpy, it's, but it'll it'll fill out. A couple scare glows in there. It's one that'll gross out or whatever related in the shelf. Here's the uh, front of the case right there. Little horror section. The monsters in my pocket. 
That's dope. You look good, you look expensive now, dude. Like, like that magazine, I like that one. Like, the Creep Show, one. yeah, that's the original one. You know? Got the, got the drag back from King Kong's. Oh, those are um, ceramic R2. Oh, John has one of these actually in his, in his shop, dog. Yeah, like lamps? One, one's a lamp, this one's a, like a piggy bank in a in music box. Wow. How many of you have seen this? How many have never seen this? <laughs> one is <laughs> toy, this is <laughs> crazy. And then this box has a bunch of party favors, plates, yeah. candles. Look at that. Imagine being a kid in 1983, and this was your party right here. It's crazy. Invitations. Party bags. Yeah. And I sold so much of it already, too, though. Just one dude. You still have a lot, too. Huh? There's one dude that always goes to John's shop maybe for two feet to stores. <laughs> it's never there. <laughs> it was so patient. Got the bandolier in the box. Yeah. And those are the, the those are the, the Canadian ones. See the, the, oh yeah, the, got the French. Yeah. On the box. You need any of those coins? I don't really collect the coins. You don't have to figure yourself. I have. I have those to are check those. I like that. The telephone. Everything's sealed. Wow, sealed. Maybe you got the mug. That's the board game. Sarlacc, yeah. Sarlacc Pit board game. That's the case. We're talking about how awesome this clock is right here. That thing's amazing. I love that clock. Yeah. We're checking out. This is a Back to the Future standing from part two. Here's a big VHS box. This is the stuff you saw hanging inside VHS stores. So you, it's just like a giant VHS box hanging. Right here on this shelf. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> So these are this is your collection right these black stars yeah this is nuts it's crazy this is a hard turtle to find right here the snow one you got chuck norris karate commandos yeah. zen go bots a few princes of power These ninja ones are awesome too. Oh, here's the vintage card of Star Wars figures. <laughs> Some mad balls. Bunch of Transformers from different years. Here goes the GoBots. Courageous in the box, man. This box is mint. And the Droid Factory over here. <laughs> uh, Return of the Jedi Minty poster. We got more posters over here. All vintage, original. Yes, sir. Clean. He was showing me this Back to the Future one right now. Look at that. It's like a real thin material, so we're thinking this is probably something they hung in the window. I'm assuming. I mean, I don't see how it's, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's really thin and real glossy, so maybe like a window clean type of thing. Yeah. But it's, I mean, 
Don't see this kind of stuff. Well, this Vader poster from the back is pretty cool too. It's vintage, it's 77 right there. Wow, 1977 poster. Pretty cool. It's like American tail in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have no. I ran out of tubes. Bro. So I was like, man, I got, I got to take. You gotta save this. Oh, let's check out this ET. Though. There's a pack to feature two mini poster. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Wow. It's dope. Oh, it's like 3D. Yeah. It's plastic. It's vintage too, boy. Wow. This is all from like video stores. Yeah, little promotional stuff. Yeah, so this stuff wasn't sold. This was sent to video stores to promote all these movies for yeah. rental. Available on video cassette. Like 82. Yeah, this one's vintage too. And another awesome Darth Vader one with two yeah. lightsabers. He is rocking two lights every now. Yeah, which doesn't happen in the movie. You try to get that sound too. Yeah, that's cool. You want to pull that one out for you? Maybe. <laughs> you can only tell when you when you actually see feel the paper. Yeah. You know what I mean? This one is a special edition. So these are original. These are from 90s the 90s, special edition with the re-releases. I remember going to theaters and seeing these. I still have my ticket stubs when I saw these. Yeah. Theater. I took my little brother to go see him. Special editions. A lot of people I know you love hate bro. for those because all the stuff. I'm not a fan of the the what they added in the Return of the Jedi with yeah. the little band. Not a fan. Yeah, I, I hate that part. I hate that part too with a passion, bro. All kinds of fast forward that thing fast enough. This one, pretty cool. That's uh, the trilogy. Look at it. This is a crazy amount of amazing stuff here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good too. Wow. I like the tie interceptor, it looks dope. That's all. So that snarf in the box. Clean, looks brand new. The colors are bright. Fist pounder. Is that graded? Yes, sir. Postman over there in the back. Got some dino riders. Yeah, still working on this shelf. I don't really. And then you guys remember this from a previous video when we unboxed the whole case of these. I mean, sending off to get graded. Already sold one of them. Nice. You got the wolf bees. Some dude in Australia. These are cool items here too, these Nintendo little games, the water game. Mario Brothers, there's a Zelda one there, a bunch of Back to the Future vintage items, the glasses, Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut, yeah, 80s, totally 80s, little baseball hat. This is an insane shelf right here, as you can see. There's grails in here, stuff you don't see, stuff from other countries, I think humanoids. I got two of these, apparently. Another look at that poster right there. If you're interested, I got two of them. Dope. Got the Crystal Castle. It's a clean box. Power Lords. Beetlejuice. Firehouse back there, Ghostbusters Firehouse. Sealed? Yeah. It's a sealed firehouse. Here we have a laser light He Man. This is the head with like the Dolph Lundgren style head. Yeah. So there's that version, and then there's another version with the original head. I kind of like that one better. Dolph yeah, this one's cool. Here we got some more grails right here. And then you got this modulac. Uh, this is from uh, Argentina. Argentina, right? With the different, with the green arms and stuff. Okay, top toys. Top toys. Top toys. This gizmo pot. 
<laughs> Freaking I'm dope. Like Fox, I'm, like, yeah, I'm, I'm on the clock bench right now. After I after I seen your your, your C three PO and R two D two one. Yeah, you get just trying to get yeah. the clocks now. I actually got one of the, the the Gizmo one. I actually sent one to the game chasers. Did you? I sent one to Billy. Oh uh, yeah, he likes the. Uh, he likes fucking real shit. Yeah, I'm a little fanboy. And stuff. There's a cool. Camel Con. That thing is awesome. I never seen one in person. First time seeing one in person. That King County. Grail. Definitely a grail. Cargo's Castle Playset. That's a tough one to find, too. Good boy Shogun. Warriors, the mini ones. Giant humanoid. That's cool. Poster. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Cartoon series. And you got the vintage He Man posters from the magazine. Still a song song, you know what I mean? Just trying to make it comfortable in here. I'm gonna put it by, so I'm gonna put a TV. Oh my god, I got the, 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 the mount that hangs, that it folds it down from the ceiling. It, 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 the TV, the TV, it'll fold it back up. From RVs? Yeah. <laughs> Boom. That's the whole first wave. Holy crap. All right, so there's the headquarters for Rambo. And then he just opened this box with the whole first wave. Like brand new. Yeah, Is that the shipper box? Yeah, I got that from the homie. God, dog. That's nuts. It's Canadian, but, I mean, it's still dope, though. That's crazy. That's nuts. I like the way they have the box. See, they got the little, the little spacers for the... For yeah, the, I noticed that. That's, they keep them straight, dude. All right, let's check it out. Look at that. Rambo himself. Clean, huh? Nice and clear bubbles. It's crazy. I like the ninjas. There's one of each in there, huh? Yeah. It's yeah. the whole first wave. Oh, that's the first wave. Look at that. Clean, guys. It's nuts. Before we show our pickups, I want to give another huge shout out and thanks to my friend Vince, Vince. for letting us into his storage unit the slash. Man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> That's right. He's become a legend now in these uh, videos. You know, Vince is in the video. You know that you're going to see some awesome vintage toys, grails, you name it, and great deals too. <laughs> uh, so we want to thank him for letting us into his uh, storage unit slash store slash collection space. It was awesome. We had a great time. He ended up. Shout out. Yeah, he, we we both got some stuff. Yeah. He, if you've been watching the videos recently, you know he's got into vintage GI Joes, and today he added something that completes his GI Joe quest, his play quest, because he plays with these figures. He got a play set. He ended up getting this one right here. Very cool. This is the transportable tactical battle platform. We put this thing together. It's complete. And he's been playing with it. All my figures. Yeah, so he's been having, like I said, he's playing with them. This is not going on no shelf, no display case. No, not like him. This, this is being played with. So he's breathing life back into these vintage G.I. Joe toys and play sets. And he's got the buck. He wants more, right? Yeah, so we're going to, some, some of them are expensive, like snake eyes, like the real popular ones. This but, was going to be $100, but we got a freebie. Yeah, we got a great deal from Vince. It was complete. Like I said, he's been playing with it already. The transportable tactical battle platform has been built. And I got my son is playing, playing with it. Yeah, this is not going to be a, a display piece. <laughs> There's the box complete. It's going to be played with for the first time in maybe Many. since the 80s, probably. You got so Sergeant Slaughter and Law and Order. But we're going to be looking out for more 
figures, right? Yeah. That way you can play with them. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he got Joe's this thing right now because you can uh, move them around yeah. so much with the articulation. They're cool. cool. So, yeah, you can do all kinds of movements with them. And my pickups, I mean, uh, it was hard for me to choose because we got some things planned for the future that I need to save up for. But I got a whole bunch of Vintage Star Wars erasers. He's going back to school. Yeah, and uh, we put them all in that this cool vintage, uh, this Toys R Us bag. So what I'll do here, I'll show a few, and then we'll enter another video showing close-ups of everything. It's just showing a few, a few of them here. We got Jabba the Hutt. We got Admiral Akbar. He's showing off that vintage plush. We got, oh, this one's cool right here. Max Revo. So we'll do a little cut here and uh, we'll do a close up of all of these uh, erasers. card back you got the toys r us sticker on them well, these are very cool you said for going back to school you said yep but these will not be used to erase anything seriously yeah that's gonna do it for our pickups from vincent's spot we already can't wait to go back and see what else he has he has so much stuff it's crazy stuff the amount of stuff he has all all good stuff too so he's happy with this place at I'm happy with my erasers, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they look, they're cool, man. They're just cool stuff. You'll see the figures. You see the figures all the time. But how many times do you see the erasers out in a while? Oh, and another thing. Spam Vince is cool in the comments. Yeah. Put that in the comments. Show them some love. Like I said, anytime you see Vince in the videos, you're going to see some great toys. And he's become a legend now in these videos. And yeah, like I said, thanks again. For letting us into your spot and everybody let us know what you saw in his storage unit that you would have picked up for yourself there was lots of grails we got the camel con we got that one modulock they were from like top toys and stuff if i'm correct then he had those oh, things he had a laser light he man what else he had lots that of stuff. thing up there oh yeah yeah he's pointing to the the big giants from him humanoids those are not for sale. Those are his collection. I, I did ask because I need to decompose. All right, we'll see everyone on the next toy hunt. I'm SoCal Shaolin, the kid. We are out. Peace out.